Hey guys, welcome to another video, and in this one we're just going to be talking about the story of the Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Now, not much is known about the story apart from the characters Jacob, Evie Fry, um, Jacob Fry, like I said before, um, Henry Green, and Clara, and Bloody Nora, believe it or not. But th those are the only characters we actually know of so far. Now, before we get started, I just want to say that I don't know if any story information besides from that has been released, but I do know one thing, that means we could, could get straight into assassin action sort of thing, that Jacob and Evie were both born into the assassin order, which is what we wanted, I suppose. We wanted them to be born into the order. We didn't want to go through some crappy, like, intro, like we did with everyone, but Arno was born into the order sort of thing, but he wasn't raised by it. So he was born an assassin, but he wasn't actually given the title of assassin or raised in as, as an assassin. He was basically just the son of an assassin. That's about it. But Jacob and Evie are born and raised into the assassin brotherhood. So that means that they are they have been trained from a young age as an assassin, so it is basically their life. Now that makes a lot of sense in my opinion. So as it means we don't have to go through any of the crappy introductions like we did with previous games. Well, because that just really bored me. I mean, Assassin's Creed introductions, the longest one that I can think of was basically the entire game, and that was Black Flag, where you went to, like, Sequence 11 as a fucking pirate, and then you became an assassin. And I guess it's alright, but... Eleven sequences is too much. So, anyway, I suppose there's not much else to say, but I think the story is going to, about that at least, but I think the story is going to be better than that of Unity's. Unity's wasn't horrible, it was just too focused around the love story, which is hard to understand as they actually didn't explain the love story to us. They tried to in the little scene where... Arno tries to get Elise to trust him in the, like, I think it's the Café Theatre. He tries to get her to trust him by ex like, giving, telling her about memories of them helping each other do things. Um, or him helping her at least, trying to give us a backstory about their memories. But they could have just done that when they were kids and it would have been all fine. And it would have been a better story. But So Ubisoft aren't making any crappy excuses because they are leaving out the love story which means that they can just explain it, because as several people have mentioned, when it comes to a brother and a sister, the chemistry is just there, and you don't need to explain it, but with Arno and Elise, I'm just going to say there is no chemistry whatsoever, and I didn't feel anything for any of the characters. So, I suppose that brings us to that point, that the love story thing is just a bad road to go down, because, to be honest with you, spoiler alert, to be honest with you, the moment Arno kissed Elise on the balloon, or even at the start, you knew that Elise was going to die. I mean, it was the same with, um, uh, it was the same for, uh, the what's the character called? I can't remember. I believe it was, um, but everyone Ezio kissed. There we go. Besides from Sophia, which he, he didn't kiss. So, you know, we knew that much. So, that means everyone's just going to die, and it's Christina. Yeah, Christina. I always forget that one, I get confused with Katarina and then I don't really know, but that just explains it. Everyone that every assassin kisses, cliché will kill them. That's why I hate cliché, and if Ubisoft tried to avoid love story clichés by avoiding love stories, then we should be alright. That's my theory. Other theories of mine are that this Henry Green will die. Yes, I predict that he will die around Sequence 7, like, spoiler alert, Pierre Belek died in Assassin's Creed Unity around Sequence 7. So I fear that Henry Green will die around Sequence 7, because someone always dies in Sequence 7. Whether it be um, someone that you're trying to kill, or someone... Well, this is an Assassin's Creed game, of course someone is going to die in Sequence 7. But, I believe a main character dies in Sequence 7, it's always a main character. My theory is Henry Green is going to die mid-story, and then we're going to get loads of lair. Hey, and don't know, don't know, it's like the Pierre Bellic thing all over again. They'll be repeating it, basically. They'll repeat everything. They said it was going to be similar to Unity, so I expect that to be in there because they're just going to copy it and paste it, basically. But it probably won't be like that. But my prediction is Sequence 7, Pierre Bellic, Requiescat, and Parts You Mate, and yeah. Poor guy. Not Pierre Bellac, Henry Green. 
And as a main story thing, we can kind of grasp that it's going to be about taking control of London in gang war and etc. Trying to explore the the un, like the underworld of London and how to retake it and make it a better place sort of thing during the Industrial Revolution to help the children. Think about the children. Get them out of the chimneys now. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this theory. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. And I will of course probably see you all in the next one if I'm not dead. So I suppose that would be good if I didn't die. That would be quite nice actually because I want to live, you know. But Anyway guys, be sure to subscribe if you are new, as that would mean a lot to me. And I will see you all soon with another video. So thanks for you guys. Slazaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa